New people, the rules are simple. You guys get to ask me questions. I am required to answer with the truth. Go. What is the worst Christmas you ever had? The worst Christmas I ever had. Oh. No, we can't go that dark. We. Would you like someone else on the stage to do lightning run with you? No, I'm not going to subject anyone to that torture. I will answer the worst Christmas ever. I remember the moment. And some of you may not know this, so I may be ruining something for you. But there's no Santa Claus, I was told. What? what? Oh, that's a lie. Superstition. I have ruined Moxie's life. I got a bicycle before I came here, thank you. <laughs> wow. Now we have to just dive right into it, don't we? I was a child living in New York City, listening to the radio. You used to be able to listen. There used to be a thing called the radio. I was very young. It was a long time ago. Dinosaurs were on the earth. And they chased Santa on the radio. They talked about this. And I was listening, and at any moment, I'm laying in bed, and I'm being really good because, you know, I don't want to mess it up. But I hear on the radio that he's flying over New York City. And then they say he's flying over Riverdale, which is where I lived at the time. And I thought, oh. And then I heard, I heard the sound of something in the living room, and I thought, I'm going to bust the fat man. I will be the coolest kid ever because I'll have met Santa Claus. Because I was like in, I was, I was like celebrity time. I'm like, okay, okay, pajamas are clean. Teeth were brushed in the last week. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna pop him in the door and meet Santa. I'm gonna get his autograph and I'll show all my friends and no one, no one can top this. I'll be the coolest kid around. And there are my parents putting out presents. E 20 years later, I came to an interesting realization. There is a Santa Claus. That's us. As a clown, as a performer, as all of us. Anytime we do something nice, anytime we're not completely dicks to everybody, that's Santa Claus. That's it right there. That's the best truth I've ever learned. I learned that from someone smarter than me. But uh, that was, in fact, the worst Christmas ever, because for a split second I stopped believing in magic. I got over it, though. 